This video is about flip flops or latches. So latches are um, sequential logic elements that have the output depending on the previous input, which means that they have a memory element built into them. Uh, they can be called flip flops or latches. Generally, we call it a flip flop uh, when it's a device that has a clock attached. So I'm just going to call it well, we can call it a latch or, or a flip-flop. So um, in general, uh, it, it looks like this. So we can call this a flip-flop, not the kind you wear on your feet, or a latch. I like kind of calling them latches, but... Um, and it the latches have two outputs. So it's always the same two outputs. So it's either Q or uh, the same input, but inverted. So really only Q comes out of these, but we like to show that we like to also take an inverted Q out of them as well, because that's useful. So really whatever happens inside this latch, Q is gonna be a value. Let's say it's a one, then Q bar is obviously gonna be a zero because it is the inverse of Q. So, but in general, this is how they're set up. And then the inputs come in like this. And uh, the inputs set and reset a flip-flop. All right, so let's say there could be a lot of inputs in whatever flip-flop. And um, it, it looks like this. Now, in the case of an SR latch, that stands for S is set and R means reset. In that case, it looks like this. This is my flip-flop or my latch. Q comes out and uh, the Q, this is just an inverse of Q. So you know what it is. It's the opposite of what's in Q. And you have a set signal and a reset signal. So that's an SR latch. So, it's very important what Q means. So in so this this Q is the normal output. And then this is the inverted output. And when Q equals high, when if Q equals one, which is a high signal, then that means it is in the set state. If Q equals zero or it's low, then it's in the reset state. So this means it is a set latch. You have set the latch. If it's in low, it means that if Q is low, not Q bar, but Q, then the latch is reset. Or we also call that clear. And some people call this on, Q equals one, the latch is on, but really it's called set. And for this latch, if somebody says this latch is high, Uh, that means that Q is high. Q is high. Or Q equals one. And this is called the set state. So in the set state of this latch, Q would equal one. Q bar, of course, is gonna be zero because it's the inverse of Q. That's what it looks like when it's set. When it is reset or when it is cleared, Q would be zero. Q bar would be one if this latch is cleared. So that is an illustration of flip-flops or latches in general. 